Okay guys, I have a really awesome project. It's a trash to treasure, like a lot of my projects. So I went to take out my trash to the dumpster and someone had thrown out this. Giant piece of PVC. So I'm envisioning some lights. I already have several lights around in my little tiny yard. I have um, um, solar powered. They're all solar powered, but I have some that are motion detection and some that are just um, colorful. They just twinkle at night. I have one that plugs in, but I like the solar lights. So I'm thinking that I will take this little beauty. Well, it's not a beauty at the moment, but when we get through, I'm envisioning, of course y'all know if you follow me, that my visions often change. But right now I'm envisioning maybe some little path lights because my little path that goes here inside goes to my backyard. At night, it's very dark. I have a couple little lights there, but they don't they don't do much good. So I'm envisioning some little path lights to put right there. But I'm not certain that's how it's going to work out. But I have so many ideas in mind. I have two or three different ideas for this thing. So stick around and let's see what we end up doing. Okay, I cut all of my pieces to different size lengths. You could sand the bottoms, the cut edges to smooth them out. I'm not really concerned about it, but I did paint the inside of a couple of them with this silver metallic paint. I'm going to see if that uh, metallic paint makes the, the light brighter, so I've only, I, I painted like four of them with the silver and two of them I left the white so we can see if it um, reflects the light, makes it brighter. We'll check that out. Now I'm going to print out some little um, templates and I'm going to drill, drill holes all the way around them. So I'll be back. Hey guys, so I want to show you how super duper easy this is. I got my pipes, I cut them into varying different lengths, go back here and see if you can see, and then all you need to do, well you'll also need to order, let me grab this, these gutter lights, unless you have a different better plan, I went looking for some solar lights. And I found these gutter lights and once again I found the best deal on eBay and I'll put the link I went I accidentally only bought two the first time so I had to go back and buy one more and they still had them so whenever I put these links I don't know how long they'll last uh, but it'll give you an idea where to start your search but these were two for $10.99 with free shipping I needed six because I'm going to make a tabletop version with three lights and a standing version with three lights. Um, but anyhow, my pipe happens to be three and a half inches in diameter, well three and a quarter, and the lights were too big. So I'll get into that in a minute. But anyway, so what I did was I printed out templates. This one I haven't done yet it's going to be on my last pipe but this way you don't waste a lot of ink or if you're really good at drawing you can just sketch it out in fact for the word beachcomber i just i taped two pieces of paper together and wrote it on there then you take your drill i taped it 
to the pipe. Then I drilled through. We'll see when I take this off what it looks like. Yikes. Um, because here's my mermaid and she has a couple little boo-boos, but I'm not really stressing it. So I put the holes fairly close together. So I wanted to make sure you could tell what it was. And in fact, I liked... I like how he has a wing and an eyeball. Not a wing, but you know what I mean. Um, so I don't know for sure how good that will come out. I'm surely going to put the eyeball, but I don't know about the other parts. And then here was my mermaid. This is how close I did the holes. But on my beach comber, a couple of my holes, I was watching TV at the same time I was doing it, so it wasn't real focused. A couple holes broke through to the hole next to them. We'll see how that works out. But anyhow, you just do this. You take your light. I would suggest you get a bigger pipe uh, than three and a quarter because these lights seem like they were all the same size. But I took mine, it came with a full circle around here. I cut out this piece and I'm going to go back and snip these off too so it'll go flush. And then it also has an on off switch, it's solar. But if you only want to use it certain times, fit it inside of there. Um, but I'm going to put them all three together and then put them outside and come back and video what that looks like with them outside but I also wanted I wanted to tell you a few more things I'm gonna pound mine into the ground so I don't lose light at the bottom but here's another thing you can get these in black you did, and I struggled with that whether I wanted them in black or white I got the white planning that if I didn't like it you can cover this with painter's tape and just spray paint it maybe you're gonna make a really colorful one spray paint this to match your color but I kind of liked the way it looks for the daytime because the holes in here are white and this is white um, but another thing you could spray paint your holes after you've drilled everything out you could take your spray paint and go back and fill those in I'd thought about it so it kind of just looks like a pole standing there in the daytime. But then I decided I didn't want that. But here's another thing. I'm not going to do it, but you could. You could put like boo and glue on some of those plastic eyeballs they have at the Dollar Tree. Or make a ghost. Or you could put Merry Christmas. You could put a Santa. You could paint this red. You could paint it like a candy cane. And then put your Santa so it's a candy cane in the daytime and it's a Santa at night. Um, you could put welcome home. You know, I know that I always go to the beach theme because that's my thing. But everybody's not a beach bum. So I'm just saying you could do it. And it. I also thought about you could put like a witch on it and then put the purple lights inside. They're a light that you could just drop down inside and then put uh, by the cover that comes when you buy these. You can buy a cover, end cover, put it on top, spray paint it to match, and have your lights dangling down inside. You don't, you don't have to glue it on there so that if your lights go dead or whatever, well, I guess you have to drill a hole too to put the lights through so that you can plug them in. Or if they're battery operated, you'd have to be able to get to them to change the batteries. But normally I'm just hoping to inspire you to do it, you know, do the project, but do it in your own way. There's a million different ways you can go. In fact, a lot of my ideas, I'm either inspired by something like a piece of PVC or something I've seen on Pinterest or Etsy. I scroll through those and I see something, but I don't want to make it like they made it. It'll inspire me and give me the inspiration, but I have, you know, maybe they made it with clowns, but I'm thinking, oh, that'd be cute in the beach theme. So that's my point. 
do it in whatever your theme is. If you live at the lake, you could put lake life. Or you could put fish on it. You know? So anyway, I'm going to go finish my last piece. I'm going to go drill out this one. And cut all my lights down. By that time, it's already 6.20 in about an hour, hour and a half, we're going to lose daylight. So then I'm going to take them outside and show you what they look like at night. So I'll be back. Okay, I forgot to tell y'all about the lights. Um, this is how mine came. And this circle was too big to fit inside of my pipe. So I cut a chunk out. Which will make it bendable. So it fits smoothly into my pipe. But now I've got to go and cut these. Because see they're raised up and so it's leaving a gap and my light's shining out through there. So on my next light I'm going to cut at a different spot. But anyway I just wanted to show you that in case you use the smaller pipe. Maybe you already have some of the three and a quarter inch laying around and you want to use it. If you order these and it's too big just do that. Cut a piece out so you can bend it to fit inside. Let me show you. Here's my seahorse. So you see, I don't, when I ordered it, they are giving the dimensions in millimeters or something. And I always get confused with that. So I, I Googled to the calculation and I got it wrong. So I cut that out. And then you can just push it in and it fits down. But you see, I still have the gap because of this. So I'm going to cut that off of all my lights. And then it's uh, almost dark 30 and I'll go out and show you what they look like. Okay, it's nighttime now. Let's go see. Got a creepy little dark walkway. And oh, here are our lights. Oops, I have a motion detected light that comes on right there. I'm trying to dress up that pole right there, kind of disguise it a little bit. Oh, I told y'all I would show you this, but my flamingo is not lit up right now. I have it on a timer for about an hour. That's the old pole. Anyway, here are the lights. I love them. If you look at the one that says Beachcomber, you can see the light kind of goes out towards the bottom. So for anyone that's making them, I would say maybe don't, maybe don't make a design that's that long. Or I had thought about, I had thought about, um, turn on light. I had thought about putting maybe some, cut a piece of something and put it in, slide it up to the end of the words. And I still may do that. I've tapped them into the ground, but they're not, they're not cemented in or anything, obviously. So, we'll see, but I think it uh, was a pretty quick, easy, cheap project. My favorite kind. So, I hope you all enjoy making them. I'd like to see pictures of yours. Might give me some ideas for my next ones because I have three more pieces that I haven't completed. They're just cut and painted, but I haven't completed them yet. So, that's it for today. I'll see you next Tuesday. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank you. Bye.